with Ian Ross. This is 7 News. Tonight, an urgent police warning to Sydney women over a series of drink spiking attacks. The big clean-up begins after our blast of wild weather. And the state MP ejected for giving the Premier a two-finger salute. Good evening. Police have issued a new warning to Sydney women over a spate of drink spiking in hotels and clubs. One man has been arrested, accused of giving three women drugged drinks before sexually assaulting or robbing them. And there are fears of more victims. A state MP has learned the consequences of being a politician behaving badly. Premier Carr had just told Parliament why he won't hand industrial relations power to Canberra when the Nationals' Adrian Piccoli made his position clear. This is what you thought of workers a few years ago. That's what you thought of workers a few years ago. Member for Murrumbidgee walked away, ignoring three calls from the Speaker to return. That and the offensive gesture earned him an expulsion. Sydney medical researchers say they're on the verge of a revolution in the treatment of transplant patients. They've found a drug-free way to stop organs being rejected by the recipient's body. Next in 7 News, new warnings about the potential dangers of airbags. Also a cloudy future for Bondi's annual ocean swimming race. And Japan lashed by its strongest typhoon in more than 10 years. Food poisoning did this. It was hard to believe that it was there. How a salami stick cost this woman her feet, hands and beautiful looks. The new food health alert as Debbie rebuilds her entire body. Plus, too hot for Dancing with the Stars. The real story behind Gabriel Richens dumping. When Hyundai presents Sevens today tonight. Drivers and passengers are being warned the way they sit in a car can determine how badly they're hurt in a crash. Tests on airbags have found they can cause alarming injuries. Sport now with Matthew White and some good news for Danny Nikolic. Yeah, that's right, Roscoe. He's been cleared to ride in the Cox Plate. Also tonight, what's in store for the Wallabies? And a miracle comeback by the team with a jinx. Jockey Danny Nikolic has been cleared to ride defending champion Fields of Omar in Saturday's $3 million Cox Plate, hampered by a court Last one back in Nicolick. 1918. No wonder they're celebrating, Roscoe. We're going to finish off tonight with some advice for the Wallabies as they head off to Europe. They're going this weekend. Which is? Duck. One word, duck. And I'll show you why. This bloke wearing the number eight here in a, in a club game for Leicester is England's Martin Corrie. He's doing a little tap dance all over a Bath player. Now for that, Corey only copped a two-week ban, and that means he'll be free to play the Wallabies next month. Give talk the lads something to look forward to, won't <laughs> you? Talk about getting a bath. Exactly. <laughs> okay, thanks, Matt. Newell is next with Sydney's weather, but first finance, and the market closed higher. BHP Billiton is up 1% after a solid first quarter production update. The ASX 200 added six points. Computer shares soared 25% on news of a purchase in America. And our dollar is above 73 and a half US cents. Tonight, food poisoning alert. A young woman's fight for life after eating a salami stick. And Gabrielle Richens on her shock exit from Dancing with the Stars. This weather report is proudly brought to you by Odor Eaters. Good evening. We'll talk about your big wet. The city's official rain gauge here at Observatory Hill was given an absolute drenching this week. Last night, a further 60 millimetres was recorded here, taking this month's total up over 200 millimetres. And there were fairly substantial falls right across Sydney. But today, it was back to just some patchy showers and drizzle ahead of some possible late storms tomorrow. So it never stops. Temperatures were able to recover a bit of ground today, though. Muggy and up to the high teens and low 20s, 7 to 14 in the mountains 
mountains where Katoomba collected 75 millimetres of rain overnight, but Riverview was the wettest suburb with 81. Is there more on the way? Well, the main trough of low pressure responsible for these downpours will start to weaken, but there's a new one on its way from the west and it will maintain fairly unstable weather over the next few days with possible afternoon showers or storms. Interstate Canberra, Darwin and the Alice are also in for some stormy showers tomorrow. Cloudy in Adelaide, showers clearing from Melbourne. Back home, much calmer on our waters, easing back to slight conditions on a two and a half metre swell. South easterly winds tonight will tend more south westerly tomorrow, around 10 to 15 knots, 20 knots offshore. The cloud will keep temperatures up tonight before skies start to clear a little tomorrow, so we may even glimpse some sunshine, warming up to the mid-20s, but then showers or storms could redevelop in the afternoon. A similar story on Saturday, with afternoon showers increasing on Sunday, mainly along the coast, though, care of onshore southeasterlies. Fining up Monday, though, staying partly cloudy but fine on Tuesday. Pollen levels staying low. Now, Roscoe, as I arrived here, there were some tourists. They've been here for six days, and they wanted to know, does it do anything but rain in Sydney? If only they knew. We could would forgive them for thinking that. And if you can do anything for Saturday, Nula, I personally would appreciate Working it. Working on it. Thank Working you. on it. <laughs> okay. okay. That's seven years to now. I'm Ian Ross. Thanks for your company. Good night.